Hey, I'm Blaze, and today I'm here with Sonic Mega. What's up? Uh, nothing much, Blaze. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. Anytime. So, what have you been doing recently? Oh, how recently we talking? We talking 24 hours, a week, a month? Well, whatever you did earlier, or anything. Well, I think I'll start with 24 hours. Earlier today, uh, not that much too interesting. I tried out for a project on voice123.com. It didn't turn out as I'd hoped, but I did get ra uh, ranked 6th out of 29 people, so that's that's pretty good. I mean, they were looking for a middle-aged voice, and I'm not naturally middle-aged in terms of how I sound, so it, it was a bit of an excursion. Um, some interesting, I, I found out about the Soul Eater English cast today. Not a lot of names I recognize, but I'm still looking forward to the production. And um, I got scouted earlier. Someone's asking me to play as Yusei from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. I'm not quite familiar with the series yet, but it looks to be an interesting character. I read his uh, his character bio, and he's, he's more of a stern, uh, serious role, which is a nice change of pace from what I usually do. So I'm looking forward to that. Huh, that's cool. So, uh, voice acting, that's what you do, really, right? Yep, that's what I seem to be known for. <laughs> so, what have you been doing, really, on voice acting? I mean, like, what recent roles you got? Oh, that's a very wide range of things to do. Um, it's not so much more so the roles I've gotten. The scouts have actually decreased uh, for a while. I guess mo a lot of people are going back to school, and so, you know, the, the time to do projects has kind of decreased. But, um... Regarding stuff I've done, I'd have to say the, one of the more notable has been the Final Fantasy IX fan dub, which has been an ongoing series by Actorman99 on YouTube. Uh, you can access him on that on that channel. Uh, there was also a I, I did some recording for a car wash booking company as their voicemail call center. So I'm not sure what that's going to sound like yet, but um, I'll definitely try to share it when the final product comes out. <laughs> cool, can't wait. Yeah, besides that, a uh, couple requests for Machinima. I still need to work out the details of the directors, and um, that's about what comes to mind. Besides that, it's mostly been just catching up on stuff that's been, uh, that I've owed people for a while. There's Machinima such as Silver Crisis, there's, uh, there's a dub of Sonic and the Black Knight I've been working on, um, and I believe, yes, there's the Phoenix Wright project that I still need to do a song for, so most of it is kind of catching up, but I, I am promising I'm going to get those in. They will be good. All right, then. So, uh, what made you start voice acting, anyway? Ah, oh, that's a bit of an interesting story. Well, the funny thing is that I've never been much of a person to take a heavy interest in something. And, and to be honest, back in my high school years, it was, um, of course, around junior year, you know, they start pressuring you about what college you want to go to, what you want to major in, you know, you got to pick your major ahead of time. It was late into my junior year, and I still had no idea what I wanted to do in college as a major. Um... I, I was pretty good at writing, but I, I never could sit down for hours at a time and just write things. I, I could do it well, but I just didn't have an interest in it. Science was okay. It didn't really hurt my interest. Math was great up until past uh, advanced algebra, because calculus just plain murdered me. So uh, I often, you know, the schedule would often be I'd come home from school, I'd ditz around on the internet for quite a few hours, fall asleep late in the evening, work on homework in the morning. It, it wasn't too interesting a life schedule. Well, flash forward to um, December, I believe it was somewhere in the middle of, of winter break um, in 2006. And it was very late in December. So one of these evenings, I was up around 3 o'clock in the morning. I know this because it was when they started replaying the episode of Full Metal Alchemist that was on Adult Swim for the evening, because they run through the, the roster twice. And for, the, for whatever random reason, I decided out of boredom to go and visit the Adult Swim website. Now, prior to that instance, I had never gone there to look at the front page or anything. I just, I'd seen the commercials on TV, but I had no interest in going there. So I go on the website, I'm checking out a few things, and I happen to come across a pre-release uh, episode teaser of an upcoming episode of Trinity Blood. Did you ever watch that anime back when it was on? Uh, sort of. Long time ago. Mm. Um, 
so I, I, it was it, the way it was was it was part like the first third of an episode or the the last third of an episode that was going to be uh, aired soon. And it had little boxes that you could click at intervals throughout the piece of the episode, which would take you to, like, behind-the-scenes stuff, like with the directors, with the writers, you know, everything like that. And as I'm clicking on these boxes, one of them takes me to an in-the-studio of them doing one of the lines for the scene. And it was a scene in which uh, Troy Baker, who voiced Abel Night Road, was in the studio, and he was doing uh, lines as the crucious form of Abel Night Road. Uh, uh, I won't go into spoilers or anything, but... And and his director is giving him the feedback, and so it was literally like three and a half minutes of him being given a line, delivering it, and then been, being given feedback on what he needed to change, like a little more force, a little more anger, anger, a little less snark, you know, stuff like that. But as I'm watching this, and as I watch this this guy in the studio doing these voices, on the left side is him in the studio, and on the right side is the character on a television screen because they're dubbing it as the scene playing. And just hearing his voice on one side and seeing it match the character's lip flaps on the other, for some reason, something just clicked in my head. And I went, this looks freaking awesome. And he didn't do it right the first time anyway. He ended up saying the line about 8 to 12 times before they said, all right, that's good, let's move on to the next one. But it was just that process of watching him get into this character and just belt out this emotion that wasn't relevant to who he was. It was an entirely different experience. And I decided that I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to be the kind of person who brought life to these characters. And so um, on December 29th at approximately, it was sometime uh, earlier in the evening, I proceeded to make a folder in my music folder and I labeled it audio recordings. And since January 1st, 2007, I started voice acting. Hmm. Well, that's a pretty interesting story. It's definitely one of the more unique ones. I'll I'll admit that much. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, is there any like plans you're gonna be doing in the future? Um, specific plans regarding voice acting, you mean? Yeah. Well, first and foremost, I do want to get caught up on the projects that um I've been owing people. I, I'll be honest and say I've kind of slacked off over the, the summer, which has caused a bit of a backlog, and I would like to get back on track and, and back on schedule, because it's nice to have a, a stream of scout of scouted roles that I can go ahead and fulfill, but I would like to be able to get back in the auditioning scene. I As of today, I haven't auditioned for a couple of months, and I, I actually do kind of miss that. I would like to be able to challenge myself and, and go back and and actually try out for roles and and lord knows there's projects i probably haven't even heard of because scouted roles you only get projects that people have already planned out ahead of time you don't ha you don't get to go out and look for the ones that might interest you on a personal level so i want to do that um after college starts it's really just a matter of balancing my classes and voice acting i would like to continue um doing what I do, work for uh, the fan dubs and everything else. I really enjoy the experience I get from the free work. Um, if I could manage to get a paid role or two, that would be fantastic. I'm not expecting it. Um, I won't be, you know, entirely bummed if I don't get one because I still have a lot to learn. But, you know, it, it, anything that helps me pay for college would be great. And I also want to try and get a job so I can afford to attend Anime Expo next year because uh, I attended this previous July uh, mainly for the AX Idol competition and just the experience itself of the entire convention was, was it blew my mind away and I really do want to have a chance to go back again and, and experience that, especially since many people who weren't able to attend this year want to go next year and I would love to be able to hang out with them and meet up with them. So that, that's a short and long term. Yeah, I see. Well, is there any last words you'd like to say before I end my show? Um, uh, nothing comes to mind, although I guess to anyone who's listening to this who might want to be a prospective VA, uh, just a couple tips I want to give you. you got to practice often. You can't be you, you can't be shy. I mean, you should respect the boundaries of people around you. You don't want to be shouting all the time. But you, if someone wants to hear you perform, just be willing to perform even if you don't. better is um that's really all that comes to mind but thank you <laughs> sorry uh, apparently i've been facing i've been facing a little bit of lag right there hello apparently apparently what 
Oh, uh, those spin lag right now. Oh. I am so sorry for that. It's so cool. <laughs> I am appalled, sir. <laughs> Right. Anyway, um, if you have any more questions for me or Sonic Mega, just go to the description box and uh, go to the link on his channel. Remember to subscribe to him. And Sonic Mega, thank you so much for being on my show. Thank you so much for inviting me. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message Blaze or myself. I'm also open on Skype and MSN. Just PM me. I'd be glad to give you details. All right. Well, that's all the time I have. Until the next time, guys. Later. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.